Yes, at Cron 4 News at 10, I'm Katherine Heenan. What was supposed to be a fun day with the family on a boat in Bodega Bay turned tragic after that boat went missing yesterday. The Coast Guard says as of tonight, it is suspending all search efforts for the family who was on that boat. There were six people on board, and so far, only one survivor has been found. Crown Force Jack Moment is live in Bodega Bay. He joins us with the latest. A really sad story, Jack. Yeah, that's right. Well, the Coast Guard tells us that conditions on the water this weekend were pretty rough to begin with, so your chances of survival were pretty low. In total, there were three adults and three children aboard that vessel that went missing this weekend, and most of all of them were part of the same family from north of Sacramento. Searching by sea and by air for nearly a full day, the Coast Guard halted search efforts Sunday evening. Because of the survivability is, is, is at this point, is unlikely. Chief Levi Reed with the Bodega Bay Coast Guard says the water and the wind played a factor in their search ending. It's the, the water temperature and the air temperature. Water temperature mainly, it being about 52 degrees, uh, your hypothermia starts setting in, in in about an hour. Authorities say there were six people in total aboard a 21-foot boat. They set out to enjoy a day of crabbing, but they were reported missing when they didn't come back to the West Side Marina in Bodega Bay. The crew was three adults and three children. Not all of the crew was lost, though. A young male about the age of 11 uh, that was uh, found, uh, he had uh, made, it to the, made it to the beach on his own, on a, on a, on a cooler, actually. Wearing a life vest, clicking on to debris from the boat, the young boy washed on shore and passed out on the beach. When he woke up in the morning, he went to find help. The kid had, was, has been through it, and he's, uh, um, I haven't talked to him personally, but uh, yeah, obviously I, I feel, feel bad for him, but I'm so happy that he survived. Another teenager was found dead. They were found with a life vest partially on. The other four members are still missing, but with a second night on the water, the prospects are slim. I, I saw a helicopter just started cir circling. Fishermen at Westside Marina say they saw the search go down. This father and son only fished from the beach. The waves on the open water were just too rough. And you never know when something like this is going to happen, especially when you're only out to have fun and you expect to have fun and then all of a sudden things change. He says the water can be fun, but also reminds families looking to fish for crab this fall to be careful. That's for sure, because well, the, the, the water, from what I understand, is the most powerful thing in the world. More, 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 more than fire, more than wind, more, more than earthquake. You know, when, when, when you're in water, it's hard to stop that force. 